In this lesson we're talking about Audacity, audio editing, and label tracks, and real, real simple things. The things I want us to remember immediately is Control B on the keyboard and click and type. So to get started, what we really need to do is go back to something uh, which is Audacity 221 completely completely blank but before we do that let's just bring something up on screen as an example that if we looked at that photo we would see two people a hill and a pale you may see where I'm going with this now if I also brought up on screen that we were talking about Jack and Jill going up a hill to fetch a pail of water we would know we're talking about a nursery rhyme and the really big deal here is that if we look at it and we think that just looking on the right hand side here and if I just uh, try and make the text just a little bit bigger here then we can see that there is a picture and there are one two three four five there are six lines of text and we can actually see it so if we think we actually go back to um, Audacity let's see if we can record something which looks like that. So in other words, what I'm going to do, when I say looks like that, you can see it's blank at the moment and having fun with audio recording, we need to say, okay, I've got my microphone on. Without knowing anything, I'm going to hit the record. Just bear with me one moment. Three, two, one. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. And the reason I've done it with quite a lot of gaps in there and watch this I'm just going to select delete that would do and then I'm going to click this button up here to fit the project to the window now at the moment if you just remind ourselves that when I um, had a look at I'm just bringing the other sheet in again here we go here's the picture and here's the rhyme now if I take that away we go back to this which is nothing more than a load of waveforms. We can't see what's going on. So this is why I'm talking about labeling tracks. Let's just play it for a moment. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Right, so let's go back to the beginning and start things proper to label this so we can see what is going on. First thing in this gray space at the bottom, I'm going to insert something. So I'm going to say track, new, and this time I'm going to insert a label track. There is our label track. Okay, so let's bring on screen really important, which is the text, which was Control B, click and type. So I'm just going to take that one off again and transition through. That's it, great. So what I'm going to do now is just click up here and play. Jack. That would do Jack. So if we look at Jack then, I'm just going to go down there and all I'm going to do is our Control B. And I'm going to type the word Jack. And can we see that we've now got a label that says that this piece of the waveform is actually Jack. Let's just see if that works. Jack. And we've got Jack. Now, this time, what I'm going to do is, let's wonder what that piece there is. I don't actually know. Should we play and find out? Jack and Jill went up the hill. Okay, that will do the hill. Now watch this. I'm going to select here and I'm going to do control B. You'll notice that the whole region comes in as a label. And I think it was Jack and Jill and I think it was the hill, wasn't it? So type the hill. And now we're starting to label our track so we can physically see it. And then I'm going to just look at the next part. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Right, so that was a pail. Looks pretty funny, doesn't it, really? But this time, all I'm going to do is remember I'm going to type. So I've clicked there, and I'm going to say a pail. So I'm not going to do anything apart from clicking. Then on my keyboard, I'm going to do a pail. And I'm going to press Enter and just leave it. So that's what we've got. That's it. We're all finished, really. OK, I could go on and on and on. And when I say on and on and on, it can get quite detailed. And when I say detailed, if we have a look at Edit, Labels now, I want to edit our labels. We can go in and see that we've got three labels. They are on the label track number one. They are Jack, the Hill and a Pale. 
and that tells us which frames and things that are around. Now, this is where I want to leave it, apart from the final part, to say that with the labels, can you see that I've activated type to create a label, on or off. So in other words, we can start to build up our tracks very, very easily. So remember that that was the, bring it back on screen again, once you get the track inserted as add a new label track, then we can come down and use control B and click and type to start to illustrate something which could be a spoken version of something like a short nursery rhyme. So that was it, that was us done and let's finish off with the same slide that we had, which one was it, was it this one? I think it was, yes. So that was recorded on the 8th of December, Introduction Overview to Label Tracks Audacity 221.